I'm going to show you how to find a stud in the wall. So I'm assuming several things. One is it's a wood wall, not a steel stud. And the other one, I'm assuming that there's pipes and wires in here. So caution has to be executed. So in this particular case, I've got a wall and there's no interior trim. So there's no baseboard and there's no crown molding. So when a builder builds a wall framer, he's going to start from the outside of the framing and he's going to pull so that the first stud is 16 inches on center. A stud is an inch and a half. And so ideally he's the edge of the stud is going to be at 15 and a quarter. From that point, there should be a stud every 16 inches. That's standard. There's a lot of variations to that, but for the most part, a load bearing exterior wall is 16 inches on center. So I'm going to look for some clues to find a stud wall. Knocking, I, I just find it's a hit and miss. It's not as well as it should be. So in this particular case, I'm going to do a wall hung cabinet and I want to know where to put my screws and I want precision because the materials for the back of cabinets aren't that great and I can't just drill a bunch of holes and try and do hit and misses. So I need it to be as accurate as possible. All right, so that said, 16 inches on center. If the framer started from this corner, which may or may not be the case, then I'm gonna pull over from the outside. So the stud wall is three and a half inches. I got half inches of sheetrock and I want 16 inches on center. So if I go 16 inches and subtract four inches, that's a three and a half inch stud and a half inch sheetrock. That would bring me at 12 inches. So right here at 12 inches, I can stick that ice pick in and I see that there is no stud. All right, so maybe this isn't how he pulled. He could have pulled it from that end and came back this way. Not really important. I just know that that would have been my first try. The next try would have been to look for a clue. So some, some clues are electrical outlets. Most people are right-handed, and so you'd hold an electrical outlet box, and then you, you nail it on with your right hand. So probably there is an outlet, or there's a, a stud to the left of the outlet box. So I'm gonna sneak this in, and there's not. So that just completely defies all these principles. So there is a stud there. So that gives me a clue. Let's go back 16 inches on center. And so if I put a mark here, right at 32 inches, there's a stud. So that's locating the first stud. Now I'm gonna assume since I came over 32 inches that there's also one at 16 inches and every 16 inches. So here I'm going to give you a really quick shortcut. So I found the stud and so I want to find a shortcut. Using a, a simple light, doesn't matter whether it's a lamp or a flashlight, I hold it against the wall and then that shows me any imperfections. I can see a dimple up here. Here's where there's a nail pop and I, I keep looking and I can find all kinds of imperfections. So if I come over 16 inches, I see that there's one here. I see there's one here. And if I come over about another 16 inches, I see there's one here. I see there's one up here. And so that gives me an indication that there's one every 16 inches. Okay, but I want accurate pinpoint accuracy here. So finding the stud, that's only part of the accuracy. So I want to know, am I on the edge of the stud or am I going to be in the center? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over half an inch. There it is. Oh, go over half an inch. Okay, so that's the edge. So I'm going to mark that. Then I'm going to go to the other side. Half an inch. And there's the edge. Okay, so, so once I have the two edges of the studs, then I make a mark. 
I'm after speed, but I'm after accuracy. So now I'm going to put my tape measure at 16 inches. And I can do one of two things. I can just use the edge of the tape and mar the wall. Use the edge of the tape, mar the wall. And then I can come over here. So I'm hitting that stud. So depending upon how accurate I need that to be, I can check to see the sides of each to find the center line. Then once I know that that's the center line, from there I'm gonna transfer that distance over to my cabinet, drill a, a pilot hole, and then screw my cabinet in. So that's how you find the center of a stud. There are other ways to do it. If you have interior trim, on the baseboard, look for two nails. Crown, look for two nails. And you can do the same trick using a flashlight by putting, putting the flashlight alongside the trim and you, you'll be able to see the dimple where the nails are. And then that gives you an indication that that's probably where the stud is. And then you can test from there. These are small holes. They can be filled very easily and you can find the exact center. And then once you have an idea of what's going on, then you can continue to uh, install whatever it is, baseboard, um, cabinets in this particular case, or crown mold. So hope that helps. If you like our channel and you can relate to this, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification. Thanks.